Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tahiri, and we have another Maple tutorial. Today's topic is plotting using Maple. Uh, I explain how to plot in values, coordinates, polar, cylindrical, spherical, and so on. Let's start with something very basic, x plus 3y equal to 1. And if you want to plot just a line here in x and y coordinates, Cartesian 2D, uh, right click, plot, and this is what you get. Uh, if you click on the actual graph, there would be another menu opens here. There are a few options. For example, if you want to scale, you press this button here and you can scale it up or down. You can zoom in and out or use your uh, roller in your mouse. You can actually translate the plot, you can move it wherever you want. And you can use this crosshair, click on the plot, you select it, right click, you can go to axes, you can go to the properties of axes, you can change the range of the plot uh, from uh, lower to higher on X and Y, you can change the color. Let's just maybe choose green color instead. Uh, this is the change of the axis of color. If you want to change the plot color, you click on the plot again and you go and change that here. You can add labels and legends and titles uh, to make it the way that you want. Of course, there is another way of uh, plotting, and that is using the actual command of plot. Let's plot. A function x divided by 2 cosine plus sine 2x and here you have to define the x I would say from minus 2 pi minus 2 pi uh, to 2 pi and here is the plot so I plot this periodic uh, function from minus 2 pi to 2 pi. If I want to have more than one plot uh, in a window or combine uh, plots, Maple has made it very simple. All I do, I choose other plot, hold and drag it to the new window and as you can see simply Maple brings the next plot. Now since I'm in this topic I would like to go on tangent for a couple of minutes and show you another method of solving uh, we had a tutorial on solving but uh, so if you want to solve uh, these two equations this equation just select the whole thing this equation and the one that we had uh, at the beginning so of course in this range they have seven intersections one two three four five six seven let me just do that we paste that and this equal to y and the other one is x plus three y equal to one so if I want to solve that right click and you go to symbol solve and solve here and if you do that so the answer you can see it says warning a solution may have been lost and it's not what you get so of course the other <coughs> Excuse me, the other option is you can go to solve and you can go solve numerically here and you get one of the answers which is actually the closest one to this far end so is this particular uh, answer so maybe I magnify a little bit here and I bring it here so this is the answer I get if I want to find the next answer which is here so there is another very uh, handy feature and it's called we go to solve numerically solve from a point and that point I approximately put this point let's say 5 and minus 1.5 and as you can see this answer has been given I want to find the other one which is here so I have to go and uh, do it again you solve solve numerically and this value is about 3 and here is uh, minus 0.5 and as you can see the next one is given so it helps you to find the solution of a more complex uh, 
uh, equations. Anyway, let's go back to a plot. I have another uh, plot here, plot, you can use plot 3D, and that's the actual command. Let's just magnify it a little bit here. So plot 3D, 1.3 to the power x, multiply by sine y. And I want to plot that x is changing from minus 5 to 5 and y is from 0 to pi. So this is the plot. And in a normal coordinate, it looks like a, a curve, actually, uh, surface. Of course, uh, I can plot this in different coordinates. So one of the coordinates is spherical coordinates. I can type here chords equal to uh, spherical. And this would be the outcome, the result. It looks like a seashell. I can change the color here also. I can say color equal to red. So it would be red. I can also actually define the color. I can put the color equal to X because X has a range here and you can see the color it would be different. As X changes the value of the color and changes. I could write here, for example, sine x. And this is how it looks like. Instead of here, I could actually plot that in cylindrical. And this is how it looks. Slightly different. Uh, there is another option here that I could use, and that would be uh, Troidal, and here it was you get. So it depends on what coordinate you would like to uh, work with. Uh, let's have a couple of more uh, plots. For example, I can do another one, uh, plot 3D, and that's the, the actual feature here. I can have more than one plot. So in that case, I can write here x multiplied by sine x uh, y. So x multiplied by y. That's one function. The next one is x plus uh, 2y. That's another one. And the range x is equal to minus pi to pi. And y would be the same thing. Minus pi to pi. And this is what I have here. So I have two functions here. Obviously one of them is a simple in a 3D is a simple uh, plane and the second one is this. So now I can change actually here the color accordingly. I can say color equal to, I have two colors, I would put red and green. And as you can see, the color it changes. I could also do it manually. So here I can go and I can simply select this, right click, color, and I can make it yellow. And here I can make this one color, let's say, for example, uh, blue. 
uh, I could have also here add different coordinates. So I could use, for example, coordinates as I did here, the spherical. And of course, it would have been a different shape. So let's just change it here. So the other one is within here. Uh, when you are in 3D plot, you have other options here. You can change here. You can make it a wireframe. You can have it without any uh, mesh, or you can do it as it is. Now, let's have uh, another plot. So I want to do polar. Uh, let's see, R multiplied by theta divided by 1 plus r square so this is a polar and I want to plot that so you can right click on it here and you go to plot in this case you go to plot builder and here you change it to interactive and use polar plot And it looks like this. Now, of course, you can change the parameters here. You can make it uh, smaller. And you can change that. So if you want to plot this, this is what you get here. And, of course, uh, I could do the same thing here using an actual command. And in the command line, I could have written there. Sometimes, if you would like to see what would be the command uh, for that, so let's just copy here the same thing. I go copy here, uh, right there, and I go to new and I make it a new work uh, sheet. And now, here, the first one is, is workbook, and the next one is worksheet. So, you have two options here either you can have a document mode here which is the main, or you can, in one document mode, you can add as many as a uh, worksheet. And this one here, if I paste that value as it did, so I get the same, and then I can here right click, and I go to plot, same thing here, I go to plot builder, and I go here to interactive, and then polar and plot that and this is exactly would be the, the outcome here so let me just so it says plot and this is the command interactive you have it polar the coordinates and this would be the exact command that you have also let's go back here to our actual uh, sheet I could have plot this differently I could go to here plot and let's go to builder here and interactive I could have a polar or could have had it a complex 3d and the shape would have been of course uh, in a complex way would be something like this so it all depends on how you want to actually use this plot function uh, Sometimes it's easier simply to use the actual right click plot. Like if I have x divided by 4 minus x squared divided by 16 plus y squared divided by 25, and this is the plot. So if you want to plot this, you just go here, plot, and it, it recognizes you want a 3D XYZ, and that looks like a saddle shape. This is the shape here. And if you want to have it more than one, so you can have here uh, x plus y, 3y minus 2z. And then you want to plot the same thing. You go here and you go plot. And in that case, obviously, the answer would be uh, a saddle and a plane. Uh, this is as far as this tutorial goes. We have another tutorial. Uh, we talk about more advanced uh, 
features uh, using Naval. Thank you very much.